Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And this video is for all the real estate agents in the world, everyone looking to get their real estate license. I strongly suggest you look at my boy here, Jason Pritchard, understand what they are doing at Real Brokerage. Because I got to tell you, he is investing in you and he could change your family's future via understanding real estate investing and the like. Uh, Jason, I'm so excited to see you a part of Real. Uh, I know where your heart and intentions are, and uh, this is going to be fun to watch build, I got to tell you. I'm really excited. I feel like I'm in such a good space with our business right now, and I feel all the momentum that we've built over the last couple of years on the investing side is just propelling me closer to what I'm doing with mm -hmm. Real and this platform that we're trying to build to help uh, you know, agents getting uh, into the investing side of real estate. It's always just been so strange to me, especially from the beginning, that yeah. You know, most of the agents that I speak with focus on helping other people invest, but then they never invest themselves, right? And I think um, you know we want to build this platform to help uh, to change that narrative, man. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, and I got to tell you, you may have just had perfect timing. Sometimes timing works in your favor because this, this yes. is what I see coming. Yep. Uh, I see uh, real estate transactions falling 25 to 50 percent. I agree. It's you know it's. It's going to happen, I think. And uh, there's going to be a lot of real estate agents that if they don't um, understand how to invest, they're going to be out of the business. They're going to Correct. be doing something else. But I got to tell you, if you're a real estate agent heading into a recession where the underlying asset in mortgage is sub 3%, where you are working with motivated sellers that are maybe frustrated landlords and own the properties free and clear, uh, seller financing, I think the amount of deals that we are going to do over the next couple of years, it's going to be crazy. And we're not going to put a lot down. I mean, this isn't, this isn't the last two years where we had to go get cash, get private money or hard money to close the deal. This is like, take over my house, give me a couple yep. of grand for moving. Here's seller financing. Give me 5% to pay the commission or whatever. Uh, just take over this headache. Uh, recessions are times, and I've been through two of them in Fresno, are the times where you get amazing deals and it doesn't take a lot of cash. So I'm excited. And I think agents need to look up because they can supplement their income and generate family wealth by just being in deal flow. This is really important. I think for the agents that are out there that are crushing as an agent, or you're just getting in and you're new to the business or anywhere in between you're, I, I really do believe like your livelihood is at stake here. I Agreed. feel like you are going, if you don't, understand that the importance behind having some of these additional tools in your toolbox, right? To yeah. be able to just convert more business, not just for the sake of getting through kind of this next transitional period that we're going through, but for all the long-term benefits yes. of wealth accumulation and all these other things. Um, I think you're, you're missing out on a big opportunity. And I think the smart and savvy agents are going to be the ones that can come to a seller from a consultative approach, right? Correct. And not just try to force them down one path or another. If you're just an investor, all you can really typically offer them is a cash deal for 50, 60 cents on the dollar, or maybe something creative, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're just an agent, all you can do is really offer them an opportunity to list, right? Yeah. And what I've always told my team is we are going to, number one, be able to help more sellers, right? It doesn't, yes. converting business is just a bonus, right? But for us, we're help. able to actually help more people and do the right thing by more sellers by coming to them and saying, here's all the options at your table, right? Mm -hmm. Like option A is we can pay cash, buy quickly, right? But you have to understand that you're trading in some of your equity for the Speed. convenience of a quick and easy transaction. That's option A. Option yeah. B is you list the house. I'll put my agent hat on, right? You can put up the money and the time to fix it. You're going to net more money if you do it yeah. that way, but it's going to take a little bit more time. And C is something in the middle, maybe something creative, maybe where we work together or whatever. But or or it could be a combination. I mean, that's what's coming. I yes. think what's coming is I, I'll be an agent. I'm willing to buy your house. I'll just make up numbers for 200 grand. Yep. I think we might, we might get 235 retail. Let's list it for 30 days, 45 days. But my number is good at 200. Yep. Let's, let's go do it. You know, and, and they don't do it. Then they get upset and they got to move because they got to go to Texas for a new job. And then 200. So again, I think being an agent in the environment that's coming, it's going to be the best thing to be because if you're just an investor, you only can do this. If you're just yes. an agent without, you only can do that. 
what you are going to teach people uh, that that join your team, is it right to say join your team? Is that how I should say it? Yeah, I would say join. The, it's not necessarily joining my team specifically, but being part of our network. And okay. that's what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a network and community of like-minded people mm -hmm. that understand what's happening in the market, right? And realize that I, what I never really liked about the traditional brokerage model is that we were always kind of encouraged, right? And that's the nice way to put it, to focus <laughs> on the agent side of the business, right? Of and, course. and it makes sense because for the broker, the owner of the company, it's the they're overhead, not yeah. getting paid on my investment deals. The stuff that I'm doing off market, direct to seller, I'm not paying commissions on it, right? So the broker's not getting their kickback. And so I don't even blame them mm -hmm. for wanting to do that. But for me, my business model was never one where I was hundred percent focused on doing as many agent transactions as I could. If anything, I was referring most of that stuff out to my team. Mm -hmm. And I never liked to be forced to do something that I didn't want to do, or that wasn't aligned yeah. with my goals. Right. Exactly. So what we're building, I feel like is here's the spectrum on one end of the spectrum is you're the number one agent in town. On the other end is you're the number one investor in town. You get to pick wherever you want to fall on this with whatever, what, what, whatever is aligned with whatever your goals are. Right. And mm -hmm. I think most of the agents that are on the other end of the spectrum don't realize how many opportunities they're just passing by. Right. And I get agents that call me all the time that are like, Hey, like, are you interested in this deal? I just don't want anything to do with it. Like, you know, I'll just, you know, refer it over to you. Right. But like, just let me list it. Yeah. Right. And I'm just thinking like, sure, of course. I mean, if yeah. you're going to uh, thank it, you I'll for I'll the 50 it. grand, no problem. You, you, get, you get six, I get 50 done. It, it, but I feel like you're just the hard part, guys, is exactly. getting in front of the seller, right? And that's what we tell the sellers all the time. Like the hard part is getting to the kitchen table or having that conversation. And that's exactly. the value proposition that we tell our sellers when we speak to them. It's like, hey, the hard part was getting here. But after this conversation, I really genuinely feel like we can help you with one of these options, right? Mm -hmm. You just let me know which one it is. And it doesn't matter to me, right? Like I want to just do what's best for you, right? And if it's mm -hmm. listing it and selling it, I can help you with that. If it's us buy it directly from you because you're just done, I can help you with that. If it's something yeah. else, I can help you with that too. So, so I feel like it takes the pressure off the sellers, which I think is an important, right? Because Absolutely. sometimes I've seen it with investors or agents, like we're so desperate or we want this, this deal so bad, we kind of force them to go down one of these paths. Mm -hmm. And it's so it, we take all the pressure off when we go to the seller and say, here's what you want. Here's the options. You tell me which one is the best one for you and mm -hmm. then go from there. Yeah, it's awesome. So the one question I wanted to ask, I didn't know the answer of is, is I believe what you are building and what we're going to be building here is going to attract real estate agents from around the country. I agree. Um, does that fit the model or do you only need California agents? I just want to ask. No, it do, I think one of the things that I learned, cause we have built a team out, right? Like mm -hmm. I've gone through that two or three year journey of doing the traditional team model where there's the mega agent on top and then there's buyers, agents and all mm -hmm. those people underneath. Right. And what I, what I took away from that was that I really loved the coaching and the mentorship aspect of working with people. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I just love seeing people that were on my team get it and then start to hit the ground running and then get those results. Yes. But what I found was it was really constricting and it wasn't really scalable in the way that I wanted it to be scalable, right? We had Correct. six or seven people collectively all working together on that team. And it, I, I wasn't able to go do 70 or 700, right? You know what I'm saying? It just was not feasible to do that. And what mm -hmm. I like about Real, to answer your question is, yes, we can help people from all over the platform that we're building. And what I like about real is that we can do it from a space where we're virtual. It doesn't have to be just people in the office on the team. We can yep. help as many people that see the vision that are like-minded and that are willing to put the work into, you know what I mean? This isn't yeah. going to be anything that's easy, but uh, you know, we've got a proven roadmap and blueprint that I believe that works. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think when you layer that on top of what you're already doing as an agent to be successful, I think uh, that's going to be what separates the people that are going to not just make it through this next couple of years, but thrive, right? I'm oh, not yeah. interested in just kind of making it through the next couple of years. I'm interested in thriving. You know what I mean? And yeah. I want people that are have the same kind of interest too, man. And so if, if you're mm -hmm. wired like that, then I, I'd be happy to talk to you. Yeah. What I would tell anybody watching this again, real estate agent, anywhere uh, in the country, you need to reach out, you need to follow Jason. If you're going to you know, follow Jason on Instagram for a while, see if you click, see you get the vibe. 
but what what he's going to be doing for you is is giving you everything. Yes. And he's going to make sure and invest in you and make sure you're successful. And I was hoping the answer was nationwide. I would have yeah. been disappointed if you're like, oh, Michael, I could help people in you know California deep, but forget the other 49 states. I'd have been disappointed, frankly. So uh, I'm no, very excited. Good. I'm really excited about this platform, too. I think the most successful people are going to be able to do both. And even let's let's just talk about the inverse. Right. So the mm-hmm. investors that are not licensed. Right. I think we all know and believe that there is going to be some type of regulation that comes down on operating without a license. Right. And so, you know, I'm not saying that if you're crushing it as an investor that um, you won't be able to operate in that space, but I think just for the sake of longevity and having Mm -hmm. all the tools in your, in your toolbox, it probably makes sense to look at that because we can already see it in some States where you're not going to be able to operate without a license period point blank. Yeah, yeah, it's this is this is all coming. I think Real is putting something together that's going to take the best of the best of what you've done and allow you to grow more, right? Um, putting investing in folks going forward. Uh, how would how can somebody find something out about Real, and then how can they find more about you? The the best way is just to reach out to me directly, guys. Okay. Uh, if you just follow me on one of my social media platforms and then just shoot me a message, I will respond to you. Just let me know like, hey, you know, your background, what you're interested in doing, and we can set up just an exploratory call just to make sure here's the thing. It's got it's got to be the right fit for everybody. Right. Like for me, I am not trying to recruit every single person that's out there. Right. I think that in order for this to really make sense, in order for the things that we're doing to work. Right. It's it's got to be the right person on the other end of it. You know what I mean? And so I feel like it makes sense to just have an exploratory talk. And then we can just figure out what, 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 what works from there. Yeah, folks, again, he, Jason's going to be coming back every other week to talk about this stuff. I really do think if you're a real, licensed real estate agent around the country, you need to check him out. You need to see what he's doing at real, especially if you're a real estate agent realizing what's coming and you want to be a better investor. There is no better teacher, no better mentor, no better friend than Jason Pritchard. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate your time. Hey, enjoy your Sunday. You're the man. Thanks, Uber. Mm-hmm.